Hi everyone, happy spring. Happy spring guys. It's Matt and Leah from Fly Trap Store, of course. And our plants are excited and so are we. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we wanted to share with you. So go right ahead, Matt. Okay, so uh, the fly traps are just getting rolling now. They're sending up their first uh, few big spring traps along with some flower stalks. Um, you can see this big mouth here. The flower stalks are the most progressed, I think, of any of the clones so far in the big pots, except for coquillage, which is always the first one to flower. Mm -hmm. um, Kronos, nice big traps. I mean, Kronos holds pretty big traps throughout the winter, but these spring traps are looking pretty nice and big here. Uh, it's one of my favorites, so I've got several mother pots of it around. But um, you can see aliens starting to put out some, some spring traps here. Alien. It'll be nice and big. Um, Royal Red, one of my favorites in the spring. Or sorry, this is Maroon Mon This is FTS Maroon Monster, one I grew from seed. Um, a really gorgeous plant. Yeah, they just poke right up, don't they? Straight yep. up, like the towering. Where is towering giant? Towering giants down here. That one goes right straight up. I yep. love that one in the spring. Look at that. Tall and it stays upright in the spring. Yep. Very cool. Okay, how about anything else you notice? Yeah, this Whoa. is uh, GJ Fantasia. It puts up straight upright traps almost right out of the gate. Yep. And it has the weirdest growth pattern I've ever seen of a fly trap. It has like a bulb that sits on top of the ground. <laughs> Most bulbs, you can't see them at all, but this thing, it looks like it's, um, I've seen plants do that oh, in yeah. the spring where they kind of grow on top of the soil like that, but this Fantasia does it all year long. So, uh, really one? unusual. How about this guy? What's that? That is ginormous. Oh, yeah. With its upright spring growth don't there. don't one of those. That is a good no. looking one. What else do we have? Oh, St. Patrick's beard. Look at the pom-pom traps on that dude. Oh, <laughs> go St. Patrick's beard. Pom-poms. I love pom-pom traps. I know. That is so neat. Fuzzy. What do else? they get more in the spring? Do you know? Uh, you know, they just kind of make them when they want to. All the pom-poms aren't predictable. Like, as you can see, the main plant here that's flowering, I'm going to try to cross it. Um, all the traps are normal. Yeah. But uh, they yeah. just kind of make them when they want. Okay. Even, uh, you know, Green Jaws, Matthias Meyer, Matze, has a bunch of um, pom-pom varieties. And it's just kind of hit or miss whenever they form their pom-pom traps. So, hmm. um Trev's red dentate. Beauty nice miss. That is cool. Looking good. Yeah. A red sawtooth. Let's see. Oh, AR werewolf. I love. And Leah likes it when I say wolf. He says wolf instead of wolf. It's funny. <laughs> Look werewolf. at how cool that is. That's one of my favorites. It really is. Thanks to the flora for getting that in tissue culture and getting it distributed. Beautiful. What else? Well, there's just so many, and we're going to do... GJ Nosferatu, oh, nice yeah. big traps. Really cool growth habit. I think this is another werewolf type of clone. That is an interesting growth habit. They're like low-lying, also upright growing. Cool. What do we have? Destroyer. That's a nice plant. It is a nice plant. It's very vigorous. That's a beauty. Mm. Anything else down this mm. way? Just, your eye. just a quick flyby. They all look beautiful. I mean, I, know, I love this. Really do. These couple of trays, you get a lot of reds and greens and some contrast on okay. the, the BCPZ 11s. We'll do a gorgeous. Flyby, as he requested. I'm going to show you all of them with the stakes so you can identify them if you wish. There's also, I see over. Next to us, some incredible red hulks, and I want to show oh, those guys. Oh, yeah, I forgot that guy. Yeah. Spring traps on incredible red hulk. So Matt recently repotted these also. That's why they don't have any of those old black traps from dormancy. Yeah. He's cleaned them all off. The biggest trap already caught something. There's quite a few flies in here already. Oh, well, good job, Hunter. But um, new big traps starting to come out. Incredible Red Hulk in the spring. Tis incredible. Scarletine. That's one of your favorites, isn't it? Yeah, I love the splottiness of the... Yeah, splotch. It's hard to see it this time of year, but you can see them on there a little oh, bit. Oh, yeah, yeah. Look at that. 
the pigmentation changes. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. we're ready to move to pitch your plants. Yeah. Okay. Let's follow Big that. section of Leo Wilkerson here. That's one of my Hopefully favorites. We'll get to my mama pot of that down there. Okay. Um, I guess we'll start down at this end with Legacy. This is a Leo Wilkerson's uh, offspring, bred by Brooks, Brooks Garcia and grown by Rob Coe. Uh, I love this plant. It's just the contrast between the white and the red throat. And then there's kind of like a pink highlight around the top of the uh, hood. It's oh, just yeah. beautiful. That's unique. Really nice plant. It's beautiful. Soxapaha. This one's from John Brittnocker. I don't know who originally registered it, but it's been around a while. Really nice pink variety. It stands out. It does. Ellie Wang. A selection from Mike Wang. Named after his daughter. Oh. Nice blue or a beautiful uh, pink pictures with a white hood. Uh, good contrast. That is really pretty. Red flowers. Really nice plant. Oh, potty mouth is just starting to take off a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if I can get him out of there. You can do it. <gasps> Look at that, you guys and girls. Oh, my gosh. Potty mouth. Uh, <laughs> just the shape of the the mouth first of all okay it really does look like a toilet and then <laughs> and then the hood is so floppy yeah <laughs> that's a unique one it is that is. about as tall as it gets yep yeah it, those pictures they get a little bit bigger than that uh, i just divided mine this year so it's set back a little bit that's from phil fossili um oh Praetori praetorian guard back here it's a nice one from Europe. This guy right here, really nice Morii. Beautiful like that. maroon coloration there. Metallized. You can see it. Oh, neat! You can kind of see the metal sheen Look on the. Look at that! Oh wow! I don't know if it comes through in the video. I hope it does. It's super cool. The beautiful Leah Simone, one of Eric Moro's selections. That is a beautiful seed one. from Oliver Brez in france and then eric grew and named that one after his daughter oh adrian slack really nice <laughs> it's so <Moria>. small haha <laughs> <laughs> that really is nice neat plant. that's a lot of pictures is that a big that's a big one huh yeah it's got Look multiple growth points i haven't divided it since i got it several years ago so that's a big one next year it'll probably be too big for that pot but yeah they bust out of their pots hercules Here's a nice one. Bright white hoods, dark red throat. Oh. This is a seed grown. Um, the seed was from Jeremiah Harris, his cross sours times inspiration. Um, I think I started this seed in September, maybe, of 21. Um, anyway. That turned out well. Yeah, it's still baby. It's just one crown still, but it's, it's getting bigger. That's really, really neat with that splash. Red. Another seed grown here. This is a... Aries cross Morii very large. Aries is a Jerry Addington selection and uh, according to Frog's Nursery. And his plants, he does tend to select plants that are pitcher dense. Sometimes plants only put up a few pitchers and sometimes they'll put up a bunch of pitchers. And Jerry tends to select ones that are pitcher dense, which is a nice trait. And then... It's um, nice. Looks like a bouquet. Yeah. It's a really beautiful plant. This one I grew from seed also. Um, oh, nice. It's a very nice plant. I love the, how dark red it can get and how picture, picture dense it is. Um, this white, this is basically a leucophila with a red splotch on the throat. It's a nice Morii. Um, the Rugelii genes give it that red splotch and then the white top looks just like a regular leucophila. Very tall grower. What else do we have here? So many to choose Getting from. Getting down to the red flavas, which I have a, quite a few of those. It's one of my favorite type of plants. This here is a cross between uh, Flava rubricapora and Leo Wilkerson. It turned out just like a giant red flava. Does it have some of that metallic sheen as well? A little bit. It does, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it does. You see it in the sun. That is nice. Yeah. This is a Mike King flava here, 137 MK. Really nice big veined hood on it um mm -hmm. you can see the good contrast bright yellow and red oh, veining 
pretty. It's a really nice plant. It is a nice plant. Um, behind me over here. What do we got? This is one I named for my little kitten. He's been with us 15 years now. His birthday will be in June. He's 15 years old this year. And I named a plant after him finally. This one's FTS Bearcat. Yay. It's a complex hybrid, but it's it's a really nice... Uh, oh, yeah, look at the look. On big that. old mouth on it. Nice red coloration. I love the the shape of the pictures and the vigor of it. It's really nice. I think I like that plant better than the actual cat. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a nice one. Rubra Capora Burgundy. Oh. I really like the nice contrast, contrast on the the yellow hoods, the red throat, the red body. Yeah. It's just a gorgeous plant. Quite the contrast. Almost looks photoshopped or something. Wow. Lots of red flowers. Beautiful. Flava town. <laughs> we got a big old cupria here. This one's from Kaylin Hall. That is big old. So tall. They call it, it's called Big Capria. Oh, huh. What Speaking of Kalen, I forgot to show his uh, Catron Claire. I only have one small division of it, but um, and it's back there if you wanted to show it. Okay. Bright Ooh. red lips, uh, white top on it. That's worth showing. It's a beautiful plant. Oh, Kalen did a great beautiful. job on that. And then I obtained some seed from Kalen a few years ago. I think 2021. I started these from seed. Catron Claire is one of the parent plants. You can see this little one looks a lot like the mama. Oh gosh, that is so pretty. We'll see what it looks like. It's still tiny, not a very big rhizome on it. This one was the most vigorous of the bunch. Hmm. And it's got a nice white hood on it. Not quite as red, intense red, saturated red as the mother, but a really nice plant. That's pretty. What else? Oh, so much. Yeah. So much oh, awesome. This one we're going to probably register here. It's the darkest red plant I've ever seen in my collection or anywhere else. It's a, Ooh. Eric's going to name it uh, Boutte Noir, which means black beauty in French. And it's just uh, a lot of times Willisii hybrid, um, but it turns pretty much black by the end of the growing season. These pictures are fairly young still. You can see they're still opening. They open up really dark red, which even the reddest oh, flavas don't yeah, do that. that. So, is, is it pronounced Boutte or Bote. I don't speak French, so I would not know. <laughs> I, I like calling it booty. I like what you said. Is booty noir. Yes. <laughs> okay, but it's a very cool plant. Darkest. Yeah. Oh, you put a challenge out. Is that the darkest one? All I right, don't know. I here. think it is. Yep. A Rubra capora from uh, Eric's collection here. This nice, one, really nice Rubra capora. Oh, nice dark yes. one. Um, this is a Leucophila. Actually, let's go to this flava real quick. I love this Rugelii here. This is Clone A. I think it's the best Rugelii out there. Uh, and the name is Clone A? Yep, Rugelii oh. Clone A. Huh. Too bad it doesn't have a better name. <laughs> I shall name you. It's beautiful. It is beautiful. Lime green. Super bright. Uh, Leucophila from Escambia County. This is also Clone A. Um, it's a giant plant. Right now, it doesn't present itself as such the best pictures are in the fall i mean it's still quite large for a spring lucophila picture but it is um behind it is our hurricane creek white yay this is an fts grown from seed i grow clone a b i think i have c also um f and the a times f select and i still think our clone stands right up there with the best of them um, spring fall all year long the pictures are really nice on this plant so it's the best around. Yep. Okay. So if you want to decide. I'll slide. Uh, and uh, we'll finish off with these big. Ginormous. Ginormous pots here. These are uh, probably 20 gallon pots. And I put the biggest Flavas or Saracenia and the ones that I like the best in these big pots. And I'll keep adding to it. But for now, um, I've got Saurus right here. Saurus. Big old. Big old pictures on Saurus. Uh huh. What they're known for, it's known for. And right adjacent to it is a sibling <gasps> from the same seed set, I believe. Oh it's a, boy. With the cross was Leucophila purple lips times Flava ornata, but these pictures are just huge. And beautiful. I think this one actually outperforms Saurus in terms of size and vigor. For me, at least, it does. It sure look like it. Behind it, we have Leah Wilkerson. You might want to slide around that way to get a better angle so you can no see problem. all the pictures. And I'll show the 
Saurus and its sister again. Yeah. I don't know if you can see all the pictures in here, but no, pretty pretty here. dense. And this one here is just absolutely huge. This is a big old Leah pitcher. Probably my favorite Morii. Probably my favorite plant, period. I love this plant. Uh, it's mother plant to uh, Legacy that we showed a while back. Nice big pitchers. Just, and they're sturdy too. I mean, they're solid. This plant's been used to make a ton of beautiful crosses over the years. So I can it's see a good, why. good, good breeder. It's just a great plant to have in your Named collection. after me? No. No. Dang it. All right. What about this one? Right here. This yeah. is Wakama. <gasps> one of the most highly sought after red flavas. Like um, Bright yellow chartreuse. It is so lip. bright. It looks like a highlighter got <laughs> And then loose. a solid red body on it. Nice big pitchers too. I mean, that's a that's a solid, solidly large pitcher. It's just starting to get going here. So I a lot really more pitchers like to come. One. Another Gosh. pot of Hurricane Creek Whites back here. This is our FDS clone. Flies are liking it. We're getting, starting to get bugs. Yay. Yay. Spring uh, has sprung. A couple more. Wilkerson's Red Rocket here. Again, these Leucophilus look best in the fall, but this doesn't look too bad for spring. I think they look great. Oh, I got to show that one over there too before we finish. Okay. <laughs> um, Elvis Wilkerson. This plant gets huge. I don't know if you saw our video from last fall when I showed the giant Leucophilus, but this one is probably the largest. You can see the spring pictures aren't nearly as large, but they're still quite good. Um, it'll look better here in a few months. And then this is Daisy Jane, a selection from Eric's uh, collection. Um, named after his newest daughter, although he has a newer one coming soon. So Aww. we might have another one. I might have to pick another amazing yeah. pitcher plant. And then sliding around. Okay. Trying to get over here. I got to clean all this stuff up soon. Um, this is my Leucophila collection for the most part. And this plant here really catches my eye every time I'm in the greenhouse. This nice red Leucophila from Covington County. I love it. The tops of the pictures the are, are they're bulging. Is that it's very unique. I like bulging? it. Bulging? Yeah. I just like the red contrast and how wide the mouth is. I mean, the, the mouth is probably three or four inches wide. Beautiful plant. Matt's been putting tennis balls to see how large <laughs> yeah. they really are. <laughs> I've got my yardstick here. Let's check and see. yardstick. <laughs> yeah. Three and a, oh, almost four inches at the widest part. That's, that is. There's a Wide nice, mouth. nice big Leucophila back here too. I love these big pictures. Oh, ones. that is big. And the, the hood there stands straight up so you can see yeah. right down into it. Oh, this is a pretty field of Leucophila, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. I guess that's good for now. Good. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks Happy for spring. Being, happy spring. Bye. Bye.